fun. I'm having fun. I was nervous. I thought Bob was actually getting mad at me for blowing his cover, but no. Hey, uh, tell the crowd the joke you just said while the cameras weren't rolling. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, <laughs> folks, if you want to know the joke, come to the studio to tapings. Um, my next guest has been on the David Letterman Show. He uh, appears uh, constantly on MTV, and he is presently a writer for the Dennis Miller Show, one of the funniest and most off-the-wall comics working today. Say hello to Drake Sather, everybody. Well, I had water here for you if you had a real oh, cup. Okay. <laughs> I can get you a cuddle bone if you'd like. <laughs> Which is a phrase you don't hear every day. Drake, I how am, you doing? I enjoy the cuddle bones. <laughs> well, I, uh, I don't know, just, uh, I, I feel vulnerable. You know, I, I cut my Adam's apple while I was shaving this morning. What a mess that was. Man, there's, there's apple juice everywhere. It's just like... <laughs> It's really an apple. Someone should check into that. <laughs> well, other than that, how are you doing? I don't know. It's just like when I, you know, I just got back from Vegas, right? Did 21 shows at the Improv there. And, uh, you know, it's a law. You have to have a smoke detector in your hotel room. I right. thought I had one. I looked at them more closely, and I realized just a plastic shell of one screwed to my ceiling. <laughs> Apparently, this one's much cheaper than the other brand. So. <laughs> I told the manager about it, and he said, well, that's better than nothing, ain't it? <laughs> Yeah, I guess if I feel melted plastic dripping on my forehead, I'll know something's up. <laughs> Forgot about that fail-safe device there. <laughs> Bam! Uh, Drake, how's your wife? My wife is a stripper. No. <laughs> I know that, yes. People have so many misconceptions about strippers, think they're all prostitutes. Not true. And my wife happens to be a prostitute. <laughs> but she keeps that separate from her stripping because she's a pro. <laughs> <laughs> she is a, uh, she's a very, very beautiful woman, your wife. She's, uh, she is. She's very concerned about her look. She's, uh, now she wants plastic surgery, right? Normally this wouldn't bother me, but she wants it done on my penis. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, she... You seem to have touched somebody very deeply, Trey. <laughs> Be the first time. <laughs> no, but she does. She wants plastic, not just a boob job or a nose job. She thinks her torso is too long, and her legs are too short, and her hips are too wide. So her plan is to take out part of her spine, <laughs> add it to her legs, and have her hip bones sanded down. <laughs> There's a lot of doctors lining up for this. What could go wrong? <laughs> well, I guess the first thing we'll do is stick dynamite between your legs and take it from there. Alrighty. <laughs> That's a pretty picture. <laughs> what, I, this may seem like a naive question, but I really... Uh, what is your home life like? I mean, your wife is a stripper. What, is, you, can't, you can't be like normal mom with an apron and... I bake cookies, dear. I just don't see it. Well, you'd like to see it, though, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd pay money, Drake. I'm gonna be honest with you. Actually, we are... <laughs> we are... It's like nothing, nothing's sacred anymore. You know, like, uh, I've kind of acquired a fondness for pornography over the last couple of years. Very nice. Such an embarrassing hobby. You know? really can't share it with your friends and family. It's not like a stamp collection you can pass on down to your grandkids. You, know? <laughs> you ever buy a porno magazine, the cashier doesn't put it in a bag? <laughs> what the hell is that about? You know? Is that his little chuckle for the day or something? I mean, does this guy really think I'm going to march on out of the store with a magazine called Genital Jubilee? <laughs> Like, that's gonna be socially acceptable. Like, people on the street are going, is that the latest issue of GJ you got there? Huh? <laughs> Love that magazine, yeah. So I just stand at the front of the guy. says, oh, did you want a bag for that? It's like, no, no, I don't want a bag. I would like a neon sign that flashes the word pervert that I could wear on my head. <laughs> kind of like a bonnet. Or maybe I should just start playing with myself right here, you know, in case, uh, in case someone misses the point of this transaction. In case someone thinks I'm buying genital jubilee for the articles. <laughs> So, Which are uh, quite good, actually. I don't know if you've seen them. <laughs> being a, being a, uh, an aficionado of pornography, you must be a little nervous about the, uh, the right-wing oh, swing. Women hate... Uh, yeah, women. Everyone's like, yeah, everyone's ganging up on the people. Like Pee Wee and Clarence Thomas. And that first day of the Clarence Thomas hearings, that was pretty spicy. I got kind of aroused. I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to take a break and sexually harass myself for a minute. There. <laughs> <laughs> And my wife, oh man, she, she said to me, 
if I ever catch you looking at a Playboy, I'll kill myself. I think, wait a minute, this sounds too easy. <laughs> I better make it a hustler just to be sure. I don't know. No, but it's true. Now they're trying to link uh, violence and pornography, right? Every time they catch some psycho series, comes, well, we found stacks of pornographic magazines in his apartment. You know? I wish they'd tell us what these magazines are so we could stay away from them. What could they be? Well, what, Axe in the Crotch Monthly? You know, what's that? <laughs> What's gonna turn a guy into a serial killer? I mean, I can imagine leaping through penthouse thinking, oh man, these girls are so pretty. I gotta kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're not reading pornography, anything else you read? <laughs> Perhaps some of the classics? You make it seem so filthy, you know? This is all, <laughs> this is legitimate art here. Yeah. I like, I like these, uh, your, your makeup girl, Wendy, she's all into the killers and stuff. I, I yes. like this Dahmer guy. I don't like him, but I mean, it's like, he's so, he's like, it's, he just takes the cake, you know? And he's like so honest and so, it's like, I mean, if he tells you the head's gonna be buried there, then damn it, the head is gonna be buried there. <laughs> this guy doesn't mess around. Something you can count on. I like these other serial killers. Well, we bury the bodies over there. You dig up the whole lot, you know, don't find so much as a shirt button, right? <laughs> I hate that useless digging. <laughs> Every time they talk about Dahmer and I say, former chocolate factory worker, who cares? <laughs> I guess that's just the last straw for some people. We didn't expect this from a chocolate factory worker. <laughs> now, if he'd worked at the jawbreaker plant, we could understand it, because those people were just plain mean. <laughs> Drake Sather, folks. Drake, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for tearing away from your lovely wife. <laughs> Don't go away, we'll be right back.